Uh, preseason's going well. Um, knock on wood, we've been pretty healthy. Um, you know, battling the heat a little bit, but that's certainly to be expected. Um, you know, we're starting to stack some pretty decent days of practice together. Um, you know, the guys are the guys, and, you know, they're having a good time. So, you know, so far, so good. Well, I think, you you know, you've got to start with the offensive line. Um, lots of experience coming back. Alice Avilas is back after missing last year. Ben Blum's back. Uh, Jake Houston's back. Alex LeBoy's back. Um, you know, there's a number of guys that are back, and, you know, the standard has been set for them to perform pretty high. So a um, little bit of pressure on those guys to, to kind of get it done. Uh, we're excited about the progress they've made in the preseason. Um, you know, looking at running back, EJ Marquez is back. Um, you know, looking to fill, you know, fill some depth behind him. Um, you know, obviously Steven's gone and, and, and Brandon Booz are gone at the receiver core, but we feel like there's, you know, some good position battles to fill those roles as well. And then, you know, the obvious one is, is the quarterback. Um, you know, we've got a handful of guys that are kind of battling it out for that, that starting spot. Nair Wilson's having a great camp so far. So, you know, we'll see. We've, you know, long way to go, but, you know, we're, I think we're making progress. It's, you know, we're excited about, you know, the secondary, you know, CJP, JPD, Marvin back, Justin Rutowski back, uh, Betoff's back. Um, so, you know, some really good experience and, and good players back there. Um, you know, linebacker, uh, Clarence is back. Um, you know, but we've got, we've got to develop some depth at the linebacker spot. Um, that'll be a challenge through camp. And again, those guys are, are competing every day and, um, you know, doing a good job. And, you know, I think we'll be, we'll be in, in pretty good shape. And then obviously up front, um, Dan Johnson being back, uh, uh, Jan Michael Finch is back. Um, so we've got some guys back, you know, we've got some guys back and bring good experience. But, you know, again, it's, it, it's a long season and, and depth and quality of depth is going to be really, really important. Everybody's back with the exception of Kevin, uh, she and our punter. So that's a little bit of a void that we need to fill. Brody Campbell's coming back for a fifth year. Um, Zach Rush is back. So, you know, again, we're deep, but, you know, we've got to fill the very significant role of, you know, who's going to punt the ball for us. That's obviously a big one. Um, you know, but again, we've got some young guys that are, that are kind of battling it out throughout camp. And, you know, we've got a ways to go. And, you know, these things will sort themselves out long before we head to Glassboro. Playing Rowan, you know, we're very familiar. You know, we recruit against them a little bit in, in South Jersey. And, um, you know, the thing about Rowan is you're, you're, they're physical. They're always physical. They're always fast. They're always big. Um, you know, I think they're coming off of an eight win season last year. And, you know, we've got to go on the road on a Thursday night. And, um, you know, I'm sure though their fans will be ready to rock and roll and, you know, nothing better than, than opening up with a little bit of adversity on the road, you know, on a Thursday night. So we're, we're certainly excited about that. And, um, you, you know, week two, jumping right into conference play, you don't have a whole lot of time to get your feet wet. Um, you know, the Mac is such that, you know, you almost have to go undefeated to win it. And it's been that way as long as I've been here and, um, part of the league. And, um, you know, it's highly competitive, uh, you know, and excited to kind of get it going. You know, getting to a consistent high level of play Saturday after Saturday and, and, and start stacking wins and stacking confidence, but, you know, but not being arrogant. You know, we've got to, you, you've got to be humble. You've got to bring your lunch pail and you've got to come to work every Saturday in this conference. That's for sure.